everyone and welcome back to Empkin Gardening. Today we are going to be doing two different types of hanging baskets with you. Um, our front porch area is interesting because part of it is in full sun, um, which means it gets six plus hours of sun sunlight a day. And then the side part of the porch is actually in part sun, so it only gets four to six hours a day. So unfortunately, in our front porch, we can't have um, the same hanging baskets. So we have to accommodate that by doing uh, two full sun and two part sun. So we're going to show you what we do. Follow along. Okay, so with our full sun arrangements in our hanging baskets, we are actually going to be using Proven Winners Above and Beyond recipe. So with this recipe, we have um, two Super Tunia Vista Silverberries. And you will notice these, um, you'll recognize these. They're the pink silver um, Super Tunias Vistas. We use two Super Tunia Vista Fuchsias, that really hot pink, saturated pink. And two Super Tunia Vista Bubblegum, the beast of the plant. And um, we'll show you how we arrange it when we put it together. But again, these um, have like a mounding and trailing habit. Remember, they get really big, so several feet tall. So like two feet tall by three feet long, up and over. They're going to intermix together really nicely. They love a full sun, consistent water, weekly fertilizer, water-soluble fertilizer. When we plant them up, we're gonna be using Biotone Starter Fertilizer. Um, these ones are also self-cleaning again, so you don't have to deadhead these super tunias. We also wanted to show you two different ways to arrange your hanging baskets. So with the above and beyond mix from Proven Winners, this will be a very uh, voluptuous mounding and trailing of colors. So um, it's going to be different. It's going to look different than our part sun hanging basket. And we'll tell you a little bit um, of the reasons why because there's multiple ways that you can do hanging baskets and make it look awesome. So we're going to pot up, we're gonna show you how we're going to pot up our above and beyond mix from Proven Winners um, in our Keter Resin Rattan set of two hanging baskets. We're gonna link these down below um, in case you wanted to check them out. They're, we loved the pattern, the detailing and the pattern on them. Oh no, we're caught. Be free. Um, but they're really sturdy and durable, um, really heavy duty chains, and we loved the patterning on it and just the style of it. We really, we really liked it. And the round quality. You don't see a lot of round hanging baskets. Now, by the end of the season, you will probably not see any of these details with all of these super teeny vistas, but you will know what's underneath and that's what counts. All right, so we're gonna pot these up and um, we'll show you how we arrange them. Okay, so like I said, we're going to use our Biotone Starter Fertilizer. And in a previous video, we talked about how um, when you are packing something full of plants, which is what we're going to be doing, you don't necessarily need to be putting the well and then adding the fertilizer. We have our soil in here, our potting mix soil, and we're actually just going to put the fertilizer right in and mix it in to where we're planting. And we will plant right on top of it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of put each one opposite. And I do believe one has to go in the middle with these. This is only about, I think this is a 12 inch. I think it's a 12 inch um, diameter. So it's, or maybe 14. We'll check. We'll put the correct measurements right here on the screen. Okay, so we, we might have to put one in the middle to accommodate all the plants. But that's okay. It's gonna look beautiful. Here we go. Hey Becca, why are you pulling out the roots? 
So, you don't necessarily need to rough up the root ball. When you see that um, it's a little bit root bound, this isn't terrible. When it's a little bit root bound, you can fluff up the bottom, um, but expert growers are finding out that it's not actually too necessary unless it's severely root bound. You can, it'll be okay to just pop it in. Um, that one at the bottom, it had a little, so we just kind of fluff it a little bit. once we packed it all in there to make sure all of the nooks and crannies were filled and they are nestled nice and snug and the last thing we're going to do is water this in. We will show you what it looks like. Yay! So now we are going to move on to the part sun arrangement. And for these ones, Ryan actually picked out all of these plants. Um, he has a really good eye for colors. So uh, this is his masterpiece. Um, we have um, some begonias. These are really large blooming begonias. They get um, a little bit over a foot tall. These ones are in yellow. This theme is yellow, and the basket we're gonna pot up today is going to be an orange version. So in our yellow arrangement, we have our um, Illusions Midnight Masquerade Sweet Potato Vine. Nice dark uh, trailing feature. We have Lemon Slice Super Bells. And Lemoncello Super Bells. Nice pale. And then finally, we have tucked in right here. It just went out of bloom, but that's okay. It's going to rebloom our Super Bina White Out. So, this container is going to look very different than our full sun containers. So remember, in our full sun containers, those were like mounding and trailing. It's going to be this big blob of wonderfulness. This one is the typical thriller, filler, spiller that you're going to see. So our thriller in this um, arrangement is the begonia. It's going to get the tallest out of them. We have um, a couple fillers. The Superbina Whiteout will act as a filler since it does mound, but again, we talked about this in a previous video, uh, Superbinas don't really trail down like Vistas do. Um, so it'll mound, so we're gonna call that our filler. Our other fillers are kind of the Super Bells. However, these ones, as you learned from a previous video, will trail down. They'll mound and trail. Um, so these are our filler spillers. And then just our spiller is part of the um, potato vine, sweet potato vine. So that is typically how you put together a, an arrangement. You have the thriller, you have the fillers, and then you have the spillers. So we're going to do the exact same thing that we did with our Vista arrangement with our other hanging basket. We're going to put together our orange pieces um, and I'll walk you through what those ones are. Okay, so just like with the yellows, our orange is a hot orange Portofino begonia. And this one actually can do full sun or full shade. It's uh, begonias are wonderful in that way. Uh, they add really nice pops to shady areas because they will still bloom in shade. Um, so this is going to be our thriller. Then for our fillers, for our orange selection, we have Tangerine Punch Super Bells. 
the yellow throat. And then we have, we'll have two of those and we'll have Peachy Keen Super Vita. I love this one. I love the different peach colors. And then this one will also have a Midnight Masquerade. Oh, I'm sorry, Midnight Lace. And that'll tie them in together as well. Okay, so we'll have our thriller, our fillers, our spillers. We're going to fertilize it the same way. So popping this in, mixing it in. interesting with this arrangement is if you can remember with super balls they like to dry out they like the soil to dry out in between waterings um, that might not happen with these ones so we'll see how the super balls perform um, in this arrangement and it's a nice deep reservoir too so hopefully that'll help um, so we'll see all right thank you so much for watching this uh, video on our channel um, we thought it would be fun to show you not only two different types of light requirement um, hanging baskets, but two different kinds that you can make, whether the big mounded spilling or the typical thriller spiller filler. And I hope you really enjoyed it and maybe learned something. Um, again, we'll link these down uh, in the description below if you wanted to check them out. Uh, we find them gorgeous. If you enjoyed this video, you can like and subscribe to our channel. I hope you are having a wonderful springtime and that your flowers are blooming. Bye!